Uh, so we're going to be solving problem nine on Project Euler, which is special Pythagorean triplet. A Pythagorean triplet is a set of three natural numbers, a less than b less than c, for which a squared plus b squared equals c squared. For example, three squared plus four squared equals nine plus 16, which is 25, and that squared is, well, 25 is five squared. Uh, there, exa there exists exactly one Pythagorean triplet for which a plus b plus c equals 1,000. Find the product of a times b times c. Um, this is one of the more straightforward problems you will find on Project Euler. Um, it's not that hard to solve. Uh, it's very straightforward actually. Uh, you can just look at the steps and be able to come up with a solution. Um, one way that we can just optimize this a little bit is to look at the numbers. The so for example part right here, uh, we know that we can start our a at 3 and our b at a plus 1 to get 4. Uh, apart from that, there is not much we can do. Uh, if we find a solution, we can just go ahead and break out of it and then we don't have to go through the rest of it. Um, that's pretty much it. There's not much to really like talk about with this problem. It's, it's very straightforward. So let's actually go ahead and code this, or at least give you guys my uh, the way that I came up with the solution. So I'm gonna call this one uh, triplet, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead here and create a private method, and I'm gonna make this uh, long, and I'm gonna call this uh, triplet, okay? And this is gonna take in the limit. It's gonna make this an int here. And what I want to do is keep it long uh, for the answer. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I didn't want to use a double because it will give me the answer in scientific notation. And I just really just wanted to copy and paste things into Euler straight away. Uh, if you want to use double, uh, that's fine. It will work just fine too. And next what I want to do is create a for loop for A. So we're going to say there A equal to 3. And A is going to be less than the limit. Now we have A plus plus, so we increment. Uh, next, we're gonna create another for loop for B, so we're gonna say where B is equals to A plus one, and uh, B is gonna be less than the limit, and um, we get B plus plus. So now that we have that, we need to get uh, C, so we're gonna say double, C is gonna equal to math, dot power a and then square it plus math the power b and squared all right so now we have uh, c what we can do is say c equals to um, math dot square root c all right so we get the actual number Next one we're going to do is we're going to say if a plus b plus c, right, if that is um, equal, equal to the limit, which is going to be the thousand, then all we can do here is say that answer is going to equal, and I'm going to cast this because uh, the answer is going to be in double because of the c here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, A times B times C. All right. And once we find this, we can just go ahead and break out of the loop. Okay. And then once we're done with that, we can go ahead and just return answer. So there we go. Um, hopefully it wasn't terrible. Like we said, start with three, increment it by four. So we start with three squared, and then we get four here, and then we get the power, so we can get C, and then we square root C. We see if A plus B plus C equals to the limit, and then we um, multiply that, those values, and then we get the answer. Once we get the answer, we break out, we just return the answer. And I'm gonna do a main here, so I'm gonna do public static Void main string array arcs and then um, we're gonna do is SRT and I'm gonna use triplets here and what we need is 1000 
right? So once we're done with this, let's uh, just run it and see what we get. And uh, this is what we get. Uh, by the way, this is only, I'm only solving this and putting this online because uh, sometimes people might need to actually, um, you know, if you're lost and you want help, yes, get this. But if you don't need help, there's no point in watching these videos. Uh, this is only for people that actually need help in solving the problem. Um, things I don't do, like blogs, whatever, um, it's easier for me to just make a video of how to solve it. Obviously, there's not one way to solve this problem and uh, there are many ways that you can solve this problem as well um it's i'm i'm home right now and i have some time so that's the reason why i'm taking to solve these problems um apart from doing some other um readings and stuff like that um but if you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial series please give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye